Have you ever been asked a question so much that you wish you just had something to give to people whenever they ask? Creating a freebie, Better Loan as a Lead Magnet could be the answer to your problems. Welcome to day 13 of content repurposing tutorials where I'm sharing with you 30 days worth of time-saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, I'm going to share with you how you can make a freebie, better known as a lead magnet, within Canva to share with your audience. Let's think of a common question or problem that you're asked about all the time, and then we're going to head over to Canva to be able to create a resource that answers it that you can give away to all those people. So now we're here in Canva, and I've decided that I am going to make a checklist. A lot of times I'm asked a how process of how to do things instead of just a straight what. So a checklist is a great way to be able to communicate your message and help people to get to the solution they're looking for. So in the search bar, I'm going to type in checklist. And now that we're here, we have a number of wonderful templates that other creators have already done for us here on Canva. And all we have to do is choose one and further customize it. Now we're here in this checklist. And if you like it, you can proceed with all of the customizations. If you don't, you want something a little different, you can always press the design button and look to see if you want to switch it or add a page that just looks a little bit different. So maybe this is too simple for me and I want to click on this one here. I can click on this first page. This comes as a pack, but I'm going to click on this first page and it changes it. If you ever wanted to just add a different page, what you'll do is press the plus button and you can go back to even a different template and be able to select a different one. So you can have multiple different types of templates and checklists inside of one document. So I don't need this second page, so I'll go ahead and get rid of it. I want to further customize this one here. So I'm going to go and press brands and I've uploaded my brand template into here. If you have the free Canva account, you should be able to put in one brand template. If you have the pro account, you should be able to do multiple. So I have my brand colors here and I'm just going to press shuffle. And it's going to shuffle through and give me other ideas on how this can look and I can decide on which one I like the best. I like this pretty simple one. I'm not upset with it. Things that we can do is take away this right here because I have a logo that I can add. So I'll make that smaller, put it further towards the top that can share with people and you want to change the names and of course all of the templates. For the sake of time, we're going to head over to another document that I've already completed that I can continue to show you all. So we have here repurposing checklists just to help people think of all the other places that they can post their content instead of just in one or two places. And I've included the 10 places that they can check off as well as places for them to be able to document notes and things of that nature. If you want a copy of this, you can go ahead and grab it from the description below. As I mentioned earlier, if I wanted to add any additional pages, I can press this plus button right here. We can go over to design and see what other pages we would like to add or you can add things like your social media handle and how they can contact you should they have any more questions let's go ahead and do that now i'm going to add a photo of myself just down at the bottom add some text at abby teaching bar change the text to white i'm going to duplicate this say have any Additional questions? No. Can add my logo at the top. Adding a page like this is a great way to encourage the person who has it to continue to engage with you on other social media platforms such as Instagram or TikTok. And there you have it, folks. That is a quick and easy way to create a resource for questions that you get asked most frequently. Now, you'll want to pair this with a good CRM program or like an email service or something like ManyChat where people can either opt in with their email to be able to receive the resource or be able to shoot you a keyword uh, in a DM to be able to get that resource as well. For instance, if you go ahead and get the calendar and the journal for this, you'll be able to walk through the process of opting in to an email and receiving that resource via email. Maybe that's something I'll make a video on in the future. If you have any additional questions about it, please comment below. Also, don't forget to come back and show me the link to your freebie. I'd love to take a look at it.